Hello, Dylan Sara here. I'm going to do a drawing from the Let's Face It year-long challenge and learning opportunity with 26 amazing artists. This week's video and what I'm about to share with you was taught by Chris Forrest. If you would like to join Let's Face It, then check the link, follow the link in the description below. I'll be teaching two classes. My first one will be in March of this year. And there's just so many awesome artists to learn from. Based on this stunning reference, I knew that I'd, I'd really enjoy working with natural ink. And so I just lay down this initial brief drawing in pencil and get right into it with the walnut husk ink. Um, just layering, a, layering in an ink wash. And I love just letting the, the, the ink do its thing. And it, it, you can let the ink become an active participant in the, the creation of the piece, which is really fun. The way it bleeds and blooms and, and building up um, this kind of wash is really nice. And here's some uh, uh, red cabbage ink in the background, uh, just to s set up a nice mid-tone and just going around reinforcing some of those uh, variations in tone. While working on this piece, I was talking to my beloved sister, who is my YouTube coach and got this whole YouTube thing going for me, encouraged me to get into it. So check out Claire Sara's YouTube channel. Um, she has a video about starting a YouTube channel and is focused on personal finance. And she's just wonderful and great fun to listen to and watch. So thanks for chatting with me while I was painting Claire. The link to her channel is in the description below. Finishing up with this calligraphy pen, and this is really a, a combination that I've been having a lot of fun with. Uh, taking the kind of loose ink wash approach and then finishing up with some tight line work. So here is my finished piece. It was a lot of fun to make. I really love working with these natural inks and the combination of natural ink and calligraphy pen is something that I've uh, really been enjoying recently. I've done a few of these. If you enjoyed watching the process, then like and subscribe, uh, leave me a comment, and I would love to hear from you and um, love to stay in touch and look forward to sharing more videos with you very soon.